rough. Puerto Rican Day Parade weekend here in New York. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Jeremy Schapp in studio for Brian Kenny tonight on Friday Night Fights. Round number three between Thomas DeLorme, good-looking prospect unbeaten at 11-0, just 21 years old against the veteran Chop Chop Corley. Let's look at the CompuBox numbers through two rounds. The total punches according to CompuBox, DeLorme with a 34 to 26 advantage, throwing 105 to Corley 79. Well, they have a common opponent, and the results of that common opponent speaks to who's the better puncher here. They both fought Harrison Quello. Corley won an eight-round decision, while DeLorme knocked him out in the second round. One of the most spectacular knockouts so far this year. It was on the undercard of the Ortiz Birdo, and now you can see DeLorme is landing good combinations, and he's scoring with the right hand to the body in the midst of them. see who's younger as we said 16 years the younger the long a little sharper little sprider and that, that was an open right hand that time from Corley that more or less pushed Delorme off balance to his right and you can see the strength advantage as we talked about before the power advantage when Delorme lets the punches go especially the right hand <laughs> Corley concentrating right now more on defense than figuring out any offense. <laughs> Surprised to see an experienced guy like Corley not using that jab, especially since it's from the southpaw side or the southpaw side. As a lefty, you would think he would use that jab as much as possible with the young Delorme who hasn't seen a lot of southpaws. So that's the way you draw it up. You make a miss, and then you make a pay. Last 10 seconds of the third. Chop Chop trying to survive the young gun. And Delorme on the attack. Look at him go. First thing they should be telling Delorme in the corner is he's 37 years old. He's got one minute to recover. That's probably not enough time. You make a miss, you make them pay. And right there, you see a little step to the side. And the left hand. Give credit to Delorme. He missed the right.